Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we actually have another subscriber video. Yay! Thank you so much to everyone who participated yet again. This will probably be my last subscriber video just for a while. So if you guys are interested to see some of your guys' most used bags of 2023, then just keep watching. <music> Okay, so this time I'm actually going to be using my iPad because I actually find it a little bit easier and then I'm just going to put it right over here. So the way I organize it this time is similar in the same way where we kind of categorize it by the brands that we have the most. So Lueve is going to be at the very end and then it'll be Louis Vuitton, Dior and then just kind of the other ones like Prada, Bottega and stuff like that. So the first most used bag that we have is the Le Pliage Neo Mini and I actually really want to add this into my collection because one, I love Longchamp. I have like five, six different Longchamp pieces and I think this is so cute. I love the color that she picked and she says that this is actually her summer go-to bag. She loves that she doesn't have to baby the leather on it and she got it in Japan and one of her main things that she told me too is that she doesn't have to worry about humidity so i'm assuming when she gets like sweaty hands or something like that when she holds the handles she doesn't have to worry about like watermarks or stains i actually think this is really cute i forgot who actually no i think it's hello catwalk city i think she has this in their neo like all leather version and it's really really cute maybe next time i go to bloomingdale's i'm going to try this back on but i love 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 the color that she has in the pink and then the next one we have is from elena lucas and i actually want to buy this bag so it is the stella mccartney tiny falabella tote this particular Stella McCartney bag style is so big in Japan. So many influencers or even just like so many like fashion correspondent people that I follow or just magazine models that I follow. So Japanese influencers love this bag. I feel like so many people have at least one Stella McCartney Follow Bella bag in their collection. I just love it if you guys, I, this one is very interesting to me though because you can see that the strap on this one actually has a leather bit whereas usually it's all chain. But if I were to get one, I for sure would get the tiny one as well. I've mentioned this before that there was this periwinkle blue one that i regret not getting it when i saw it come up on the real real i believe and somebody snatched it up it was only like 500 dollars or something but i think i was trying to save up to buy something else so i didn't get sidetracked but i actually love the stella mccartney follow bella bag i know some people feel kind of weird spending that much money on vegan leather but it's actually really really nice and i really like this so the next most used bag is actually from one of my subbies from malaysia and it is the axel arigato and mulberry collection lab i believe i've actually never seen this bag nor touched it in person but i actually do want to add a mulberry bag in my collection just because i think they're really cute like all the leather bits and this one has a cool little hardware bit in the center she got it from farfetched and then this subby actually told me that she was inspired by cassie thorpe because i believe cassie thorpe mentioned this i know cassie thorpe i think has like the axel arigato shoes i think but i think this bag is really cute it's giving me like fendi baguette vibes but just kind of a little bit different especially with the buckled hardware and then also it looks crocodile embossed just from the little square bits but i think it's really cute i love the sheen i love the short handle the straps don't look un the straps don't look adjustable fortunately but i actually really like how long it is it's giving also like east west vibes which is really really cool okay so the next one is from hillary she participated last time remember she had it the bright mark jacobs fendi mini baguette which was really cute and she had her most used bag is the reeve gauche tote i remember when the dior book tote first came out the reeve gauche tote was just as popular as well i do know some people say that the reeve gauche tote gets really heavy but so does the dior book tote but actually i have never seen this one the one with like the blue stripes I do love 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 that the embroidery on this and the accents of the leather handles are all like light shade of gray which i think is really pretty because normally for the reeve gauche totes it's always i think the signature one is like that raffia one with the black font i just see the black font all the time and i've never seen this style it's totally giving me like french riviera vibes and i really like this hillary says that she uses this the most as her go-to laptop and travel bag i feel like this looks like it would be such a good beach bag just because of the color combination i remember when hillary sent this picture to me she was like oh i'm sorry it's really boring i was like girl this bag is not boring okay first of all it's a saint laurent bag and i have yet to add a saint laurent bag into my collection but i definitely do and i feel like this is so special and it's such a unique reeve gauche tote so i really really like this very cute okay so next we're gonna dabble into celine for a little bit so the first celine bag we have is from nina and it is the celine triumph canvas wallet she got it in the philippines in december of 2022 so basically the end of 2022 and this was her most used 
values bag of 2023. She saved US tax on it, which is great. She loves it because she said it can fit everything. A portable phone charger, a mini perfume, card, cash, and a passport. I've seen this bag in person and I actually love like the envelope style to it because basically the Triumph logo is in the center and it has that triangle bit. I think it's really cute and I believe it's with a chain. Yes, and you can even see how she dangles the hand sanity on it, which I love just to save extra space. This looks really lightweight. I actually would love to get this in a white Triumph canvas. I feel like you can dress this bag up, you can dress it down, super casual. And the price point of this is really, really fair as well, as opposed to let's say a Chanel wallet on chain is already $3,500 crazy okay so the next picture oh my goodness okay so first of all you guys know that one of my most used bags is the celine ava so hers and not only the celine ava bag but the picture that she sent me was when she was in amsterdam and i brought my celine ava bag to when i was in amsterdam last year and i just i love this i love this so much you guys already know how much i love the celine ava bag i'm not gonna ramble on but it is truly such an amazing travel bag because one it's so thick so when i've put it in my luggage i've noticed that it doesn't get damage it doesn't get creased on top of that because of the handle it's treated leather so you don't have to worry about like washing your hands constantly when you're traveling hand sani or even sweat to be honest especially the shoulder bag if you're wearing a tank top and you know your armpit gets a little bit sweaty this won't get this color or anything because the leather is already treated 10 out of 10 recommend this bag as a travel bag and it even fits a small little water bottle which is phenomenal so Yes. So the next bag we have is from Eunice and it is the Celine bucket bag and she has it in the white Triumph. I actually love, love, love this. I actually really enjoy Celine bucket bags. They had a 16 mini bucket bag or something like that, which is really cute, but I love this. It looks super easy to use. Eunice told me that being a new mom, she wanted to be more hands-free, but obviously with a baby, you need to carry more things like their bottle, a pacifier, probably a handkerchief, baby wipes tons of baby wipes so you need something that's no fuss because even if you have a bag with a zipper and you have a baby like you're holding a baby sometimes you can't just like open a zipper up and i feel like a bucket bag is perfect as a mom bag especially this bag you can see how open it is and like on one hand it might be scary that this bag is open but if i'm holding a baby and i need to grab a baby wipe super quickly an open bucket bag is the way to go so i actually feel like this is an amazing new mom bag so yay and congratulations so so cute so the next Celine bags I actually definitely want to add into my collection I've mentioned this before and they're actually from twin sisters so the first one is from Wendy and she has the Celine nano belt bag in the Poudre color which is essentially their white and then her twin sister Cindy has the same exact nano belt bag but in the soft blue she got this in the middle of 2023 in May and in Hawaii but she says she's been using it all for the rest of the year so I still counted you guys know how much I love the belt bags because well one I love the green leather so so it's super easy going but it's basically kind of just like a dump ball to me the belt bag in terms of functionality is kind of like a hammock where you can just like chuck everything in but you can cross body it or top handle but obviously the beauty of a belt bag is one from phoebe philo so it's like classic celine in its own way and then second i love that you can actually flap it close i know some people say that they think the string bits are annoying but i really love the aesthetic of that i can say so many good things about the belt bag i just remember the peak of the belt bag was obviously during Phoebe Philo's era when the luggage bag was really big, the belt bag was also really big, but the belt bag is still big in Japan. On my most recent Japan trip, I saw easily probably like five, six, seven belt bags easily. And ironically, the, the most common color that I saw was their light taupe color all the time. That's actually the color that my best friend wants to get. And if I didn't already have my saddle bag and warm taupe, I would probably would get the light taupe too. But yes, I love the belt bag so much. And the last Celine bag we're going to talk about is the Triumph bag. It is the Teen Triumph in the color Carmine. She got this in Japan in September, but she's been using it all the time. First of all, let's just recognize that she got a little holiday treat from Dior, which I love. So super cute. But then this shade, this Carmine shade is like a rich, warm cranberry color. I feel like this shade goes so well with the gold Triumph. It just kind of pops and uh, it's just so, so pretty. Pretty. I definitely want to add a Triumph bag in my collection, but I just don't see myself getting like the teen size if I were to get it. I think just to get a little taste of that, I'd probably just get the super, the nano one essentially. I feel like in 2022, the Triumph bag in general, the teen size, the regular size just blew up. Like this is so many people's 
go-to bag i feel like people can style this bag so well and of course the most popular one is for sure the black and gold but i love 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 the color that she picked this is stunning gorgeous even okay so next we're going to talk about louis vuitton for a little bit so i actually kind of randomized it a bit so i'm not if there are some bags that are the same i'm not going to group them together because i want to give everybody their own special moment so the first one we're going to talk about is from anetta and she has the alma bb in damier ben with the bag charms look at the bag charms ah oh, i just want to talk about the bag charms really quick i actually love the bag charms that have the enamel with a little bit of the canvas in it i definitely want to add a louis vuitton bag charm because i either want to put it on my bone bag or on one of my little nano speedies i just think the bag charms just chef's kiss make it just come alive even more i love the damier ben alma bb just because it's so much more carefree because i've said this a million times before is that my alma bb the vaquetta on the bottom is so destroyed there's so much stainage water discoloration just everything and i still love mine to death don't get me wrong but uh the damier ben one just seems so carefree and you can just match it and it's just so classic you have a classic style like the alma with the original canvas i think it's just perfect so great great choice the next bag we have is from lila or delilah i actually talk to her all the time on instagram because we bag twin on so many things and the next bag she actually wants to get for her birthday is a selena ava so i love that but anyways her most used bag was the palm springs mini in this picture you guys can actually see that she cross bodies her palm spring mini which i love to do but if you actually really look at it so apparently her aunt has the diane bag which you guys know i love and adore and it does come with the jacquard strap and because she has the palm springs mini which has the black treated leather on it it actually accents with the black chicard strap really really well and she makes it look so much more like casual and sporty and really really cute and i'm sure it's a lot more comfortable too if the palm spring mini is stuffed but that just goes to show like the one benefit of having different straps is you can interchange straps with different bags like my mini speedy hl the strap that's on that is from my old ava clutch so and then next we have amelia and she actually has a youtube channel as well so i am going to link her youtube channel down below she said her most used bag of 2023 was the speedy 20 in the mono glam first of all the way she styles this bag is so adorable i love it it literally goes with everything if you want to be more casual if you want to be more soft and feminine it's just so cute and i feel like the mono glam is really nice too because navy blue in particular i feel like it's just one of those colors that are kind of like brown where it kind of just goes with everything in its own way it's kind of like a neutral and the monoglam just makes it so much more special and easygoing it has like an iridescent rainbow to it i remember when the monoglam collection first came out people were all over it i think this bag is stunning and you guys know that i love the speedy 20 if i didn't get the small celine boston bag honestly i probably would have gotten the speedy 20 just because i really like the shape if you guys are speedy slash boston bag lovers then the speedy 20 is the way to go next we have a, another speedy 20 from Cherise. First of all, this girl's smile is unbelievable. But second, so she also has the monogram canvas with the black jacquard strap. And she just, oh, she makes it look so cute. So I don't know if it's the lighting in the picture, but one, the first picture that she showed me, you can see that it's like the fresh Viketa because I believe the Speedy 20 is not with treated leather already. Whereas the second picture, again, I don't know if it's the lighting, if maybe it's like sunset time, but it does look more patina. So I personally like when Viketa actually gets a nice patina on it that's my personal favorite i know some of you guys are you want to apple guard it up to make sure to keep it bright and white as possible but i love the patina so if this did patina 10 out of 10 love 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 that's my one of my other favorite things about just speedy bags in general is that you can crossbody it or top handle it and it looks super super cute my favorite bit is actually to top handle speedies i don't know why i just feel like they're really really cute don't get me wrong a nano speedy crossbody is just as cute but i truly do love like i'm in my top handle girl era i think but yes super super cute and then the next louis vuitton bag is a vintage piece and you guys know me love 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 vintage anything this is the i guess technically this isn't vintage but it's older so we're gonna say we're just gonna call it vintage for the vibes and it is the murakami pochette accessoire um but this is like the happy cherry blossoms one i love this because you guys can see the stud detailing on this and the vaquetta bow i feel like this exact bag is the most one of the most popular like i see this one all the time recently i saw this one picture of michelle trachtenberg she had this bag you guys know me i love my push accessoires i think anyone that likes louis vuitton should have one of them whether it's a collaboration one or 
or just a signature one it's just such an easy go-to super good for travel i love the color on this one because this one i feel like is more rare because you have the dark flowers and you can see that the lv monogram is in that like mustardy aged yellow which i think is really really nice i really like this i rarely ever see this one in general you always see like the light pink but rarely ever the fuchsia so i think that's super super special definitely recommend getting like a chain extender for this bag just because the older pochette accessoires are shorter so it's pretty tight it becomes less of a shoulder bag and more of an armpit bag so i personally would recommend getting a chain extender that's what i got for mine 10 out of 10. all right so we actually have another palm springs mini from jade this was her most used bag ironically this past year i haven't used my palm springs mini as much but there was a time when the palm springs mini was my most used bag i just feel like it's such a classic bag i don't know i noticed that chanel and louis vuitton are coming out with more backpacks so maybe 2024 is the year where backpacks make a mini comeback you never know anytime i see the palm springs mini i just always think of like 2015 to 2016 like coachella era where influencers i wouldn't even say promoting it but everybody wanted the palm springs mini and i was in that as well i love the palm springs mini i definitely feel like it's part of louis vuitton classics now like classic in a different way it's kind of like the dauphine where it's it's not alma level classic or keepo level classic but it's it's like the new classics the palm springs mini the dauphine what is it the pochette matisse and stuff like that and then speaking of the speedies we have a natal speedy from on sale hopefully i said that right if i butchered it i'm super sorry so you guys know that the new updated nano speedy is with the treated leather so you guys can see that it's already like pre-patinaed i love the new nano speedy i love that the strap is adjustable but my favorite thing about it is that it emulates the mini speedy hl so it is longer as opposed to short and stubby on sale styled this so amazing like look at his outfit crossbodied with this so so cute like i'm obsessed with this whole entire vibe he says that it's constantly been in his rotation in 2023 which same i love my nano speedy too and he says that he's six foot and he still loves it so much and it's crazy too because even though he's six foot like the proportions on this still look so good on him just like a little shoulder bag i honestly love it when i see a guy with a nice shoulder bag like i'm like chef's kiss like you know how to accessorize it up and then the last louis vuitton bag is another speedy 20 i know a lot of you guys are actually in between i think that's actually one of my most asked questions is if you had to choose between the speedy 20 or the celine small boston bag what would you pick and that just also goes to show you that so many people that say that the speedy is overdone it's boring i am so not that you guys know i have so many like speedy shapes slash boston bags it's just such an easy to use bag it matches with everything it's not too small not too big and it's just so cute first of all i love how she styled this this is adorable it goes with denim it goes with like warm outerwear i can't say enough good things about the speedy 20 just because you guys know how much i love my celine boston bag and i definitely compare the celine boston bag to the speedy 20 they're just slightly different in terms of like length and height but in terms of functionality and aesthetic 10 out of 10 i love like how versatile this is her fiketa actually looks really bright still so and she's like walking in the snow super super ballsy what if you get like water stains on it okay so next we're gonna go into prada so we have a prada re-edition 2005 in the safiano leather this is from connie and she likes this bag because it's easy to travel and it doesn't get dirty easily i super agree with you on there whether you get the nylon one or the safiano leather definitely the safiano leather one is even more hard wearing i would feel so confident that if it started pouring and i was carrying this exact bag i'd feel like oh no it's raining and not worry about the bag at all because if you've ever touched safiano leather it's a very hard like knock knock level hard and my favorite bit about the safiano ones is that it does come in gold which actually recently prada released nylon 2005 with gold hardware which i think is a beautiful option they should honestly just have it in both to please both parties i love this i feel like this is such a go-to travel bag because you can pack it really well and then you also have the little pocket bit which is really cute i wonder if she wears this bag more as like the utilitarian style or if she wears this more as 
as a shoulder bag because I 10 out of 10 wear my Prada 2005 more as a shoulder bag. I actually rarely use the crossbody strap anymore. It's the Prada symbol bag. So this bag actually really really grew on me because it's essentially kind of two bags in one. Imagine just no joke a Prada version of the multi pochette accessoire which essentially so one I love the creativity on the fact that they use the triangle since the Prada logo is a triangle so that I already really really like and I actually like that they use two different tones because I believe this is half is it what fabric or canvas and then the other part is leather so it's very whimsical I don't know how much this is I'm gonna hope that it's less than three thousand dollars you can see that the strap is interchangeable so you can do the chain on the black or the black leather strap on the other side so that i do like and i do like how special it is because if you're really into brands and you even if it's flipped over and you see that triangle for me the first thing that comes to mind is that prada symbol which i really really like too and you guys know i'm into shoulder bags so i love i honestly just love all shoulder bags and this to me is a very unique shoulder bag my only thing is i wonder because it's such a strong triangle how it is to actually put things in here because it looks on the thinner side like the depth of this you kind of i wonder if you can fit more things in a dior saddlebag or fit more things in the prada symbol that would actually be really interesting just because it's such a strong triangle like would you place your wallet in the very tippy top or i'm not sure i think this is actually really really cute too and very unique and special like i rarely see people have this bag out and about so that's cool and then the last prada bag is actually from paola she's from italy she has a prada bag from italy just that in and of itself i love that so much so she bought the 2005 prada re-edition backpack she says she likes to use this as a work bag and a travel bag i remember the height of this prada backpack like the larger one in the early 2000s and ironically i was talking to my chanel essay and she has this backpack as well my mom also has this backpack i remember i saw a picture of who was it it was one of the kardashians i think courtney kardashian had this backpack as well it's just i know that the mini backpacks are very in but this backpack i feel like is so amazing for travel because you can fit everything and the fact that it's nylon you don't have to worry about it there's so many pockets there was this louis vuitton denim backpack that just came out from the remix collection i don't remember exactly the name me when i first saw that one i immediately thought of the prada one just because i feel like this is the quintessential like workhorse luxury backpack i was really sad that there wasn't more prada bags in this most used bag area but it's okay the next brand we're going to talk about really quick is dior and the first First one is a, actually a discontinued Dior bag and it is the Dior Rama bag. I actually used to want to add this bag into my collection but then I got the boy bag so I feel like they're very similar in terms of that edge but I actually really really like this. I remember I saw so many pictures of Brianna have this bag and they actually used to have a card holder version of the Dior Rama which I wanted to buy but at the time I couldn't and she has it in the black on black which I think is so cute but it's really giving me like reissue so black which I feel like is the mother of all so blacks i love that she has a little plushie on it as well the aesthetics of jisoo putting little jelly bunnies on just i love that she spreads that because i now do that too it just makes the bag look so like fun and like whimsical i've seen on fashion fall that they do aroma bags actually you can get them for a pretty good price i actually still really really like this maybe i'll look into adding one depending if i can find a good color combination but i used to really really love the dior rama bags so that was her most used bag the next bag is from ella and it is the dior or caro zip pouch with chain first of all can we just say that she has it in the cloud blue and i love that so 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 much and then this i've never seen this pearl situation is that from the original i want to say no i'll definitely double check i wonder if she got this as kind of a bag extender and if she did or a chain extender if she did i love this detail because on their misty or bags they have like these tiny little pearl bits on it so the fact that it kind of crosses over to the this i thought that was really really creative or this comes with it if it does come with it then i just don't know anything so this little pouch is kind of like a wallet on chain which i really like and i love that just kind of like the triumph wallet that we saw before that she has a little hand sanding hanging from the edge to compact and save space which i really love you can see on this crossbody that there's five little links on one side and then three little links on the other i wonder if there's a certain meaning of why there's like three and then five some underlying thing that i don't know about but I think these are really cute. I feel like it's a good entry level bag as well because the price point isn't too much. Like for example, a Lady Dior bag is like $6,000 and I believe these Carol pouches are around like 
2000 for sure they're not 3000 like for sure definitely below 3000 but i think this is super super cute super easy to use i love that you can dress it up i mean i feel like the dior canage is just very formal in general but because it's in a pouch form it can be really casual and wear with jeans and like a weather jacket which is really really nice next we have a dior saddlebag from jack she has the medium tan so she made me this super super cute collage which i thought was adorable so you can see how she styles it she can wear it with like some nice dress pants with some jeans make it casual i just love the versatility of this bag because she bought the newer one you guys can see that she actually has it with the strap so now with the dior saddlebags you have to buy it with the removable strap so basically with the added strap you have to pay like 400 dollars more which i think is a little bit of a ripoff but i digress i personally love the dior saddlebag i know a lot of people find it really cumbersome and not easy to use but i actually think my dior saddlebag is so easy to use my phone fits on the back pocket which to me the back pocket is everything and the inside fits enough like yeah it won't fit a water bottle but it fits what it needs to and it's kind of the same thing as the prada Safiano. the grain leather on the saddlebags are so so hard wearing i never ever have to worry about scratches i can just chuck it on top if i'm going to the grocery store i don't have to baby this bag at all which is why i love it and you can dress it up dress it down wear it with jeans take it to dinner all that stuff she purchased this one in osaka and she said that she got it because of me so i love that i love that and i love that she loves it so yes and then the last dior bag is the dior bobby bag so she has it in the grained hardware i believe it's in the medium size just from the visuals and even though this bag is no longer being hyped because i feel like when the bobby bag first came out so many big big fashion influencers were gifted this bag jisoo has that one beautiful magazine spread where she was wearing the dior bobby bag and i really really liked it my favorite size is actually the small size and i would love 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 to add the the oblique small size in my collection but there's just other bags that i want to add first i actually really like the dior bobby bag i really hope they don't discontinue it it's just super cute i know some people have an issue with the way the opening is but i don't know it's kind of like the dior saddle you just kind of get used to the opening so that to me is not a problem i feel like the number one thing that i read online about people saying about the bobby bag are the visuals and if you guys know what i'm talking about then you know and if you don't then i don't want to corrupt your mind in that way and ruin the bag for you some people have issues with the buckle i personally don't find the issue like i see what they're saying but i don't find the issue i think the dior bobby bag is really classic it just genuinely looks like a very equestrian style bag and oh i love this with the jeans and the black shirt love chef's kiss super super cute okay so the next is the bottega veneta tech cassette and she has it in the color thunder this is the exact tech cassette that i wanted to add if i did not end up getting my cost bag the large jenny bag then honestly i would have gotten this one i even remember the bottega essay that i talked to he got it in the lighter gray i forgot what that one was called and he actually regrets it and he told me that he wishes he got it in thunder because i was trying the one on in thunder because it's a dark gray you don't have to really worry about it getting dirty and i remember i read somewhere that people were having issues that like things could potentially fall off because of the weaving but but then I read somewhere or the essay told me that they fixed the issue so that's not an issue anymore. This bag is super super light. I know some people have issues because this is a nylon and this is $2100 but I mean it's Bottega Veneta. If you like the weaving and you like the style that's what you're paying for so whether this is leather or nylon. I actually really like this. I would love 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 to add this. Chantel Jeffries is the one that made me want it and this is her go-to travel bag. I love this. I love this a lot. I really want it. And then we also have just the regular cassette from Bottega Veneta and I love this new sage color. I believe this is the new sage color but I actually really want to add just the regular cassette bag in my collection. I know that I have the candy cassette but there's just something about the regular cassette that really just screams classic Bottega to me. It's really funny too because I actually was not a fan of the cassette bag in the beginning. I liked the padded cassette visually but the regular cassette I thought was... I don't know what it was and then one day changed when i saw this beige cassette bag being worn by a person at a restaurant and then i immediately loved the way it looked on her and then just fell in love so much it's just so understated and minimal of course if you know the weaving from bottega veneta then you'll know it but other than that it's very if you know you know and i definitely would love to get it in the lambskin just because it's so soft just oh 
this is such a great bag and the price point doesn't hurt at all the small size or the regular size still under three thousand dollars and i think it's so worth it love it okay so next we have fendi and i'm not gonna lie to you you thought the Louis portion was gonna be my favorite portion of this entire video it is actually the two fendi bags that we're gonna discuss get ready for it so the first we have is a baguette from brian and he actually does have a youtube channel so i'm gonna link his youtube channel down below as well he has the men's sequins fendi baguette bag i love this so so much the handle does look on the shorter side so i wonder how it is as a shoulder bag just I feel like it might be kind of tight but I love the sequins on this because if you look close at the sequins all of them say FF on it like it's like a sequin circle and then a dangling FF I think this is so so cute and so so special but it also because of the FF Zuka print it's giving off the vintage Fendi baguette vibes as well just like the way that it shaped everything about it I think this is so cute like even in the photo just ever so slightly that he sent me you can see how the light kind of catches the sequins and just makes it turn from just a regular Zuka print Fendi baguette bag and makes it so much more special. I love this. I wish I saw this bag in person. I think this is so cute. And then next is from a person that wanted to stay anonymous from Singapore. But look at this bag. It is a Fendi baguette mini peekaboo. First off, the mini peekaboo size is my favorite size of the peekaboos because when you hear mini, you think it's going to be something small, but it's actually a pretty substantial bag so this was a seasonal piece that launched together with the baguette's 25th anniversary so i honestly never knew this bag existed because i don't really follow fendi that closely now i wish because i would have loved to see this bag in person and what's cool about this bag is that so one side has the baguette and the other side is just a regular peekaboo so if you want to feel like uber special one day and have the peekaboo fendi side or if you don't want to be that fancy you can just flip it over and be like oh you know it's just a regular peekaboo no big deal but this this bag I love so much. I think this is so so special. I actually do one of my purse piece bags is to add a peekaboo in my collection. But the fact that not only is this limited edition and special because it's part of the 25th anniversary, it is two bags in one and it is done so well. I just love that you basically have an added pocket in the front because you guys know me, I'm a sucker for a back pocket or a front pocket. And uh, this is just so so cute, especially in just like this classic color combination just everything about this bag oh, I love it I love it I love it I love it so thank you so much for sending those in so next we're going to talk about Chanel so the first Chanel bag we have is from Angie she also actually participated in our previous video as well so thank you so much for participating again it is the denim sweetheart flat bag from 23p I remember when I saw this bag come out on Instagram everyone was trying to get this bag like everyone everyone I feel like Chanel does denim bags so well especially their denim flat bags they just oh they're so i just i genuinely love it and i love the denim with the more cool tone silver hardware i do know that their denim bags with the gold are really popular as well especially if there was this one with like a ball my only thing is that i'm not a huge fan of the curb chain with chanel bags i would love their seasonal pieces so much more than instead of the curb chain they just did their signature interlocking leather and chain like that's my favorite that to me that's like so quintessential chanel but i love this i think that the strap is adjustable as well because it has that little like coco crush heart on the side but i love the details of this because you can see the camellia flowers with the little cc in it as well i think this bag is super special and look at this outfit this is a 10 out of 10 chanel outfit right here with like the jacket and the jeans i love that the wash of the jeans kind of counteract and make her chanel bag brighter so so cute and then the last chanel bag we're talking about is the mini rectangular in tweed from ali she worked really hard and saved up for it she said that she actually bought this exact bag in the circle like the round vanity case but it was just so useless like she basically couldn't use it so she ended up selling it and then just saving up more just to get the mini rectangular so when this bag came out i actually wanted this bag so bad this is before i added my own mini rectangular and i still think this is one of the best tweed combinations that chanel has ever come out with purely because of that white strip of ribbon that says coco chanel on it i think this is so so special like no joke i wanted this on my wish list but it was just so hard to get and the premium to get for this resale was just insane on a side note i love that she sent me her card holder on it because this rose gold chevron was also one of the bags that got away from me like this tweed and the rose gold to me are just unicorns that i would love to add in my 
my collection. I just don't see myself being able to pay resale for it just because they're so rare and so sought after. So the fact that she has a piece from the Chevron Rose Gold collection with this tweed bag is amazing. My only thing is, because I watched a good amount of reviews on it, is that I did hear that this tweed, because of all like the different weaving, that it does tend to fray pretty easily would be my only gripe. But other than that, this bag is so special and oh, this is like a hundred out of a 10. I love, 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 love. Okay, so we actually have two Hermes bags too. So the person wanted to stay anonymous, but this is her Hermes 24.2421 mini. So I don't know almost anything about Hermes, just like the basics that everyone knows. So I don't know what exactly this bag style is called, but I actually have seen it in the display at the boutique when I have gone. And I think this bag is so, so cute. I love how big the buckle is but obviously you can tell that this bag is pretty small because it's almost the size of like two rodeos so just imagine that that it's like a mini bag she was actually surprised by how much she uses it i believe this flap opens up that's what i'm gonna assume because it has like the turn lock bit but i actually love the fact that this is brown and black i feel like there was this huge big thing in the early 2000s that everyone's like you can't wear brown with black but i actually really love it together especially in a bag because that means it can literally match with absolutely everything and i love the rodeo with it i actually want to get a rodeo charm but actually the pegasus ones just because i think they're so adorable but i love that this looks like a mini top handle bag and at the same time it's a crossbody i just wonder if the strap is removable or if it's attached to the bag probably i'll look up pictures to see how this bag is supposed to look on the back side i think this is so so cute like super super cute and it makes me nervous how much this is which comes to our next bag which is a mini kelly in black with gold hardware i feel like this is the bag of 2023 that every single person i mean the mini kelly's i feel like were already semi-popular but they blew up in 2023 so the fact that she was even able to get one let alone in black with gold hardware is chef's kiss and the fact look the little twilly on top i love seeing the twillies on the mini kelly's i know cassie thorpe she has like an orange mini kelly and she has like a little twilly on hers and look she has an Hermes Twilly. I feel like this looks so, so cute. The Twilly goes from like navy blue to like a pastel mint green. And this is just so cute. So many reviews that I say about people with mini Kellys, other than the fact that this bag is super hard to get. If I could pick a dream combo with Hermes bags, it would be a Birkin 25 and then one mini Kelly and then I'd be set. I just, it's just so super cute. And of course with like the grain leather, I don't know exactly what type of leather this is just because like I said before, I'm not that, I haven't started my Hermes journey yet so i can't tell the difference between the leathers i just know the clemence one is the softer one which i like for the picotines but anyways i think this is super super cute like this is the bag of 2023 like high five girl that you were able to even get this and the fact that this is your most used bag i love it because you can top handle it for dinner or crossbody it for everyday life imagine like this is your go-to grocery bag oh how i aspire to be that level and then lastly, we're going to do Lueve really quickly. So the first one is from Cafe Olay, which I love the way that they did this Instagram name. So cute. But they have the classic puzzle bag in the Napa leather. And I've actually never, ever thought about putting the donut chain on a puzzle bag because I've just been so enthralled with it with the flamenco. And this is a genius move. I love this so much. It makes it so much more of a statement bag like this picture with one, the avocado toast and just like the rich warm burgundy cranberry color with the gold i feel like looks so good it's kind of similar to that triumph bag that we saw earlier with like that deep cranberry color with the gold i feel like it just screams holiday to me and the color combination is just so so stunning oh my gosh and you guys know i love the original puzzle bag over the edge this is so cute they actually used to have this berry color like a tri berry color that i really really liked and that was one of like the color combinations that definitely got away as well love 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 okay next we have actually two bags this is the only one where i allowed two just because it was from a capsule collection and it's from miri she has the amazona 16 with the matching cow for card holder in the blueberry color okay this was actually my favorite piece from the whole collection just because the blueberry color is like a soft blue lilac and the calcifer being blue it just looks so cute it's super wearable cool toned with the silver hardware i think this is so 
cute. I tried this bag on. And then she also said her other most used bag was the mini puzzle with the calcifer on it in the orange. I mean, between these two, I definitely would pick the Amazona 16. Well, you know what's really sad is I feel like they... I'm not feel like... I haven't confirmed it. I didn't ask my SA, but I'm pretty sure they discontinued the Amazona 19 size, which is really, really sad. But the Amazona 16 is actually pretty small. No joke, I would say width-wise, it's the exact same length as the mini 16 from Celine. So it is really, really tiny. But the Amazona is one of the next Lueve bags that I want to add just to kind of complete my Lueve collection, so to speak, just to have like every single bag. The fact that her two most used bags were both from the capsule collection, I think that's like a 10 out of 10 win. And the fact that they're like bright colors too, which I think is really, really fun. Next we have from Vanessa. She did participate from the last video again. And her most used bag was the Lueve mini puzzle in the dark khaki green color, which one, I just love the dark khaki green color because it's like a neutral, but it's warm again at the same time. She can literally dress it up. Like I love how she wears it casually with sneakers and a black dress, but then also with the blazer. Like it just, it looks so good with her outfits. She said she bought it in pairs from the Le Printemps Oh my god, Houseman? I've never been there. Is that like a fashion mall there in Paris? I really need to explore more in Paris and just step away from the Champs-Elysees and go other places. Like I want to go to the Bon Marché that Lisa goes to. That's going to be my next shopping trip definitely when I go to Paris. You guys know how much I love the mini puzzle. I feel like the dimensions of the mini puzzle just like go so well with the body, especially when you're more on the petite side. So I love this. I do know that she has the bigger puzzle as well that she just got, but I love the mini puzzle on her it's so funny too because when i first got my mini puzzle like aesthetically i loved it but the opening was such a pain when i first got it i was like oh my gosh this is so difficult to get in and out of and i've honestly broken my puzzle back in and it i don't have that issue anymore i don't know if i just got used to the opening or what but i do not have the issue at all anymore like when i grab my mini puzzle i can chuck everything in and then i'm ready to go and then i'm not annoyed at all anymore so yeah love 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 this and then we have another puzzle as well and this is the black puzzle in the medium size she she got this as a birthday present in 2022 she actually likes to accessorize this with a dior mitzvah scarf and you guys know me i'm all for like mixing brand mitzvah scarves or like twillies and bendos together i just think it makes it more fun and useful i love that the bigger puzzles like the small and the medium sizes you can actually see that slouch that makes the puzzle like the signature puzzle slouch more than in the mini ones i feel like the mini puzzles you definitely have to wear more to see the slouch and i do know that the bigger sizes have the zipper on the back which I love. I wish they could put like a mini zipper on the mini puzzles. That would be really nice. You guys know I love the original puzzle. 10 out of 10. Love, love, love. And then we have a hammock bag. This is in the small size in the color indigo. And I love this so much. This subby is actually the wavy stand like me too. So I love that. But I, I wish I saw this color in person because I love that the stitching is white. The glazing does have the black glazing on it. But the hardware is, I think this looks gold. I feel like I would like this color combination better with silver i just feel like blue and silver look really good together they kind of like bring each other out the small size of the hammock i think is the most popular size that i see with japanese influencers but i feel like japanese influencers in general just love the bigger bags and then i do see the mini hammock second i love the hammock you guys know i love my compact hammock it's actually my bag of the week right now so i have it right over here but yes and then here we have the Goya bag and this is again one of those bags that I really wasn't a fan of when it first came out and then I actually tried it on, saw people wearing it and then touched the leather. First of all, this leather is so plush and soft but I also really like from the profile shot of this bag, it reminds me of a puffer version of the Celine Trio bag which is why I really really like this. Especially this color that she has, this mustard yellow is so absolutely gorgeous. I'm still sad that I wasn't able to get the recent Chanel mustard yellow but this would totally satiate that mustard yellow for me. I was actually thinking of getting the Goya in their like super light lime green color but this mustard yellow wow this is like a 20 out of 10 color and the best part is that she told me she got this bag for 50% off. 50% off? Are you kidding me? 
girl, oh my gosh, share some of that look with me. I would totally buy this in a heartbeat. For even 40% off, I would. I love it. So the last four bags are gonna be flamenco. So this is the only part that I actually grouped them together because you guys know me, I'm biased, I love flamencos. So first we have a black flamenco and she told me that she actually got this bag after she saw my rosemary one, which I think is super cool. She loves how low key the flamenco is and you can tell that with the straps, she actually has the older version, so the one that I have as well because the strap is thinner and then I just love how the flamenco looks in every single way possible when you pull the strings in when you pull it from the other bits or when you cross body it and she also told me that she wants to add a silver donut chain for this which I am all for I feel like the silver I can actually feel like the gold chain on the black flamenco would make it 10 times more dressier I mean just the donut chain in general dresses it up so much but I feel like I would pick silver for the black one too so nice and then next we have from Megan and she also has the standard flamenco size but in this color called Gleam mauve but it's essentially like a richer lilac color i love that she added her personalized charm from her hammock to her flamenco and this color combination is just it's so fun and tropical i love that you have like the lemon lime yellow handle and she has the personalized charm it just it looks so cute that's my favorite thing about the flamenco is that you can make it like really whimsy and personal and then on top of that you can dress it up so much because she has the silver chain which i think the silver chain is so nice with this particular shade because this color is definitely more on the cool tone side and uh, i want to add a donut chain so so badly maybe this is the year 2024 will be the year for me to get a donut chain i just don't know what what color would look good with my rosemary maybe leaning towards silver as well uh, my favorite color combination of all time though is the angora flamenco with the silver donut chain i feel like that is the flamenco donut chain combination so she bought this in june and she said it's been her go-to i just love that you guys love the flamenco as much as i do that's just uh, amazing and then we have a gray flamenco from erica and if i can't get the angora honestly my second choice for getting like just a regular size would definitely actually be the gray and you can see that she actually has a fun little top handle her top handle i think this is like the gray and then the light green one as well which i think is so cute like look at this imagine her just holding it like this i wonder if this could shoulder bag it or is the top handle a little bit too short this looks like it could actually fit in the armpit area but i wonder but i love the tone of their gray like i just think it's like such a nice soft gray color if i were to get a medium one like today i would honestly be in between the black or the gray color i would lean towards the gray just because i feel like the gray with the silver donut chain <gasps> would be as pretty as the angora as well i love it i love how you guys are accessorizing the flamencos it makes me so happy and then here we have another flamenco but what i want you guys to notice is one the bag charm and the top handle it's the same gray and super light mint color from before but first of all this shade of blue in the flamenco i've actually never seen before i would love to know what the color of this bag is but the fact that she has the fabric pouch from the house moving castle collection so let's just really let everything sink in she has the loewe pouch on the inside that a lot of people like to use for basket bags just to keep things more secure she also has the top handle from loewe and a bag charm as well i just so this is like Lueve times three definitely need to add a top handle as well into my collection and then the last flamenco we're gonna talk about is a 2015 black flamenco and but this is actually the og one so you guys can see that this one comes with the thicker strap already and you can just see how slouchy it is like i love this so so much she got this on the secondhand market and i love that she can crossbody it like it actually looks really nice crossbody i think on me it might be too low i don't know how tall she is but i am on the shorter size and she's actually even considering the new flamenco so the one with the Lueve gold font on it because she doesn't like the thin straps and you guys know that the new updated standard flamenco with the gold font has the thicker straps and the placement of the straps are also a little bit easier too now i want to add it in black gray for sure and i definitely want to get like a, a color like they had this one light blue one that i thought was really pretty but i actually really want to add it in black definitely jenny converted me just because i feel like it'd be such a nice go-to but i love that she got the og original flamenco maybe not the original original but the second original yeah love Alrighty, guys so we've come to the end of today's video thank you so much for watching if you guys have made it this far into the end again thank you if you guys participated i super super appreciate it for you guys to even let this video be possible Definitely 
definitely my two favorites out of all of them I really loved were the Fendi's like the like those Fendi's to me were just so so special I love that we all love the same type of bags like the Boston style so the Speedy 20 chef's kiss on that and then also the flamencos you guys know I'm a ride or die flamenco girly if you haven't tried the flamenco on in person and you're still in the doubters category please just try it on I think you just need to shoulder bag it or pull the knots out to the side and then you'll slowly be converted like us let me know if you guys own the flamenco and you guys are thinking about getting a donut chain as well i think 2024 is the time for me to finally get my donut chain and if you guys were unable to participate definitely leave me a comment down below and tell me what your most used bag of 2023 is or tell me your most used bag of january because as of right now i've been definitely using my hammock a lot and on top of that my fendi mama baguette bag for sure as always if you guys enjoyed today's video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe it really helps for my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys